My name is Richard Friedman. I'm a retired engineer and I volunteer here at the Charles River Museum of Industry. This is a 1920 paper bag machine and I'm trying to bring it in, back into service. Um, and it requires oiling all the parts and getting all the belts tight and the paper aligned. So that's what I'm doing now. I should have enough uh, to get everything. So I'm going to run it now, but I'm not going to engage the actual feed. Uh, I just want to get the oil distributed. Right. So the precarious thing, as far as we can tell, uh, is in order to engage the blade, you pull back on this lever here, but in order to engage the paper, you pull back on this bar, which is just about an inch from the spinning blade. <laughs> and you can't engage the paper before you engage the blade, or it won't go anywhere, so you have to engage the blade and then put your fingers very close to it in order to engage the paper. So, in order to uh, make it a bit safer, we've put a, a piece of tape uh, uh, right up at the edge of where the blade goes. So, when you're engaging, when someone's engaging the uh, paper bar, they put their hand on this side of the tape and their fingers won't get cut off by the blade. I guess I don't know whether it overlaps here or it stops there. I guess it stops here. And then these rollers on levers that lift up so you can feed it in, they get set back to keep it in place. But as you can see, they do fall forward yeah, a bit, I mean, so yeah, loading it if I need, uh, is a bit cumbersome. So, here begins a new bag. So this is, this is the vehicle that's got the glue, if we're lucky. Right. And so two things are happening now. This is going to push it down. This blade is going to push it down the chute that's going to go to the lower belts. And it's folding it, and it's gluing it right there, fold and glue. And it's now going down the chute on this side. If you look on this side. You see now it's being pushed down, down the chute. There it goes, down the chute. I've got to engage the bottom belt, which is falling off. Uh, Here's what I want to know. Where, how does the glue get back on the... So we're picking up glue from here. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. So this is a rolling mechanism that's roll. It, the liquid glue is in here, and it's rolling it. It must be thick enough that a close, a close wall. Wait. So this whole box is full of glue. Yeah. It's supposed to be. I. That has been a misconception of mine all, for, for as long as I, because we've been storing the old paper bags that this thing used to make in this box, but apparently this box is where the glue was, and it would roll onto this. Th that's brilliant. I cannot believe I missed that. One of the biggest problems here is getting the overlap between the two sheets equal. Because if they're not equal, then it'll bunch up on one side and it'll jam the machine. So the art of, of adjusting this machine was getting the alignment of the paper right so that it'll travel under the shoe and be folded evenly. That's the trick.
Another complication we discovered is that because the bag feed and the paper uh, cutting machine itself are not actually connected. Yeah. So if they are positioned in the wrong place, if they're out of alignment, that messes up the pulse. I get it. I get it. And this is a, uh, one of these, well, one of these is an idler that a weighted idler, so that when we move it back and forth to change the lower tension, this will maintain the, uh, the belt, the yeah. other belt tension. Yeah. That's what these do. You get them in here. That's what these do. There's another set of these somewhere. Um, here, on this side. Right, and they're, they're not even adjusted. Uh huh. So, are they actually strong enough to keep the belt in place, though? I don't know, but they're there. Well, they're in the wrong place for the, to start. You know, so these. If everything, if everything is so out of alignment that the belt wants to go there, I don't know. Those yeah, are I agree with you. I agree right. with you. And uh, here, here is uh, uh, this, um, this right here. Adjusting this, pulling this out would drive it over that way a bit. Well, yeah, so the same adjustment on the bottom. Same over. adjustment there to. to just the angle of yeah. the, the rollers, yeah. and I suspect yeah. that's how you keep this centered, is by yeah. adjusting the angles yeah. and of look the rollers. At how, look at how it's loose on this side. Well, he just moved it. Side. Yeah, well, it was so it was running over there. All right, all right. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, so I, put I, it, and I, just, that's, I just pulled it That's because here. the roller is tilted upward on that side. All right, so I'm going to pull this out. Yeah, yeah. So these little grooved pulley looking things are meant to keep the canvas belts in alignment. Really? So yes. Sorry. Um, so we need to align them. Properly. What we really need to do is come up with some layout and markup. You know, we need to really understand, measure it from the side of the frame, yeah. do all that kind of stuff. Okay. Okay. Immediately walked. Well, not walking back. Yeah, this, this just walked over to a much better place. And this, 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 this one's moving. It's so just pacing back and forth. It's, it's pacing. Okay. It's over here, now it'll go back this and get way. after. Yeah, well, what happens is, like, the belt, the belt, different sections of the belt are longer and shorter. And so, uh, as, it, as it goes over the roller, if it's tight on one side, it will move to that side. Let me see if I can do this without losing my fingers. Um, uh, because it's a non-uniform, although I think, we, I think we just got lucky here. Yeah. yeah. How's it looking over there? It may be that it just needs to run for a while. Yeah. And, and I mean, it's it's smoothing it, out now. Because it's smooth. It's, it's getting better. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It may just be that it's, you know, the, the, yeah. the weave has been cattywampus from sitting right, for right, a long right, time right. and that just running it for right. a half hour might... Uh... <laughs> oh yeah, that's much better. Yeah, we may be able to survive this for this, this one iteration. And then we uh, put our minds together for, uh, but it's worth this one of the... Uh, seeing a whole bunch of paper get ripped up very quickly. Yeah. So I'm going to stand here. Oops. There you go. <laughs> Look at that! Look at that! Paper bags, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Take a bow, please. Well, clearly, the next problem is, is uh, ah, the alignment of, yeah. uh, of this paper. But we got that side going. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remarkable. <laughs> Remarkable. Well done. Here, someone check my uh, hands. Well done. <laughs>